Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for September 2023. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we're going to take a look at what's going on around love, you and your person. This could be about singles as well, or just somebody that's on your mind. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing, hitting that like button. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, so let's get started for you guys. Where's your energy? Overall, seven of swords. Good. So something that had been, I just heard the word distracting you. Something that's been distracting you or a feeling of like you just can't get past all these difficult and shady and slighty energies, not anymore. You have a, I'm going to tell you exactly what I feel. It feels like you have a protected bubble, like the image they just showed me in my head, a complete protected bubble around you this month. Something has really, really significantly shifted in you. No wonder. It is your full moon today. So something about today's shift is going to change a lot for you significantly this month. Let's see. I'm, now I'm curious. I want to dig in. Where's your current energy? We have the four of wands. So there's going to be some celebration around home or there's something really good happening in this. Some of you could be getting married. This is just a side note. Because, and I don't get that very often, even when the card comes out, it can mean a lot of different things. Here's what I want to say. Maybe a part of you, several different messages, bear with me. Some of you aren't sure that you want to ever get married again. Others of you are getting married in the next several months or want that. And others of you, this is just, there's something about September that brings joy back into your life around family and people that are really deeply close to you. So it looks really good. I know it's the current energy in it. There's a little bit of uh, bites for everybody, I want to say. Now, under that King of Swords, we have the Three of Wands. If you've been waiting a really long time and you're uncertain about whether somebody wants that with you, I think they do. But you're going to have to ask yourself if you've changed your mind about what that looks like for you. Maybe you've been waiting for a really long time to settle down. Depends on what age you are and what place you are in your life. Maybe you thought for a long time that you wanted things to be different or you've been waiting for some kind of change in this in environment that I'm feeling. And a, and a part of you just isn't sure. So somebody also could be holding back from you right now about whether this is what they want. So I, I think you know that something really great is coming towards you and your patience is probably a little bit more than it, it was in the past. And recognizing now that you've gotten rid of the energies of people who, you know, are just not really balanced is probably creating a lot of this feeling of, I can wait. I can wait. If you're not already just getting married. that Remember, there's a lot of messages in that one little bit. Okay, so the near future. I'm going to set this down. I think from now on I may not even use these anymore because there's so many different cards. I'm not sure what can be shown and what can't because of nudity. So the devil's popping up in the near future. What that tells me is anything that you felt bound to around a home situation, I think right now you're probably releasing it even though it's in the upright because in the near future, things that people that are trying to come towards you, Venus retrograde, any of the retrogrades that might be bringing people back from your past that you felt some kind of, it may have been a deep attraction or some kind of powerful bond to, I just don't think you're open to these people. So just know that there's a lot of these things that are, are creeping up that you're going to realize. He actually has his hand up that you're going to want to let go of. You're going to realize, okay, I don't, it doesn't matter how much I feel. I, I don't want to reunite with these people or be bound to these situations any longer. His hand is up in the card. I don't want to pick it up. And he's it's almost like he's waving, like you're saying goodbye to toxic energies and really clearing yourself and opening up and being ready for this new space that I think you're creating for yourself. 
and then we have the world. Well, that makes perfect sense because yes, this is a new cycle of your life in the near future, which could be tomorrow, as soon as the beginning of the month. So just know, yes, this is it. And as hard as it may have been to leave behind the things that you've left behind up until this point, it is deeply bound and connected as you felt to those things. It's time for you to, to say no, because you know, you feel this. You feel this significant shift. There's no getting around it for you guys with this full moon in your sign. And it doesn't matter where the placement is, whether it's your sun sign, your rising, any of those planets that are significant, this could be affecting you the same way. So big, big changes. Now, let's see what you don't see coming. Yeah, boundaries, clear ones. You could feel like you're needing to defend your position a lot with people who are used to you being one way, and now you're showing up differently. Seven of Wands isn't necessarily about having to be defensive. It's just defending yourself, especially if you weren't willing to wait around to see if something was going to work out. The Seven of Pentacles in the upright can be, let's wait and see if something grows. Now you're just like, no, nah, if I don't feel it right from the start, or it feels anything like something did in the past, I, I think I'm good. I'm going to sail on by. Now, the other thing about the Seven of Wands is that there could be a lot of attention on you as well. So if you're single or you're open to that, a lot of people could be really attracted to you because it is a fiery energy, clearly. So you could have a lot of um, people like attracted to you, coming at you. And, and you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> I, I, I'm good right now. I will take things in stride. I'm not necessarily open. I'm going to make sure that, you know, my boundaries are clear. Under that, we have the Justice card. All right, I don't want to go straight to legal, but if there is anything legal, something's changed. You've been waiting for a long time for something to shift, for you to find balance. Yes, that's absolutely, that makes perfect sense when we read it that way. But this could also be that you've been defending yourself for a really long time and you finally see how that works out for you. You see the justice in that effort that you've been making and also pulling yourself away from things that may or may not have seemed to grow. And clearly they hadn't and you're not going to wait around for them to. Which is a good thing. As hard as it can be emotionally. And as attracted as you may be to a person or a situation or as much as you feel bound to it, it. This is a time where you need to find that balance for yourself. It's just about you. I mean it is always about us first. It has to be in some way. But that can be hard for certain signs to put ourselves first and not everybody else in our lives. So what Spirit wants you to focus on is the fact that you are coming out of a stage of enlightenment. You've already pretty much done some shedding in the other card or the other deck. The Hermit card shows the snake at the bottom. So he's just revealing, things are being revealed and you're coming out of a place where all of that awareness had to be had. Now under that we have the Six of Swords in reverse and then we have the Tower in reverse. Because things have already changed and you know, spirits like they, you need to focus on how you get to this place where you feel stable and it doesn't feel like everything is a constant explosion. That's the thing. When we're putting the tower down a little bit, not that things aren't going to happen around us, it's how we react to it. And if we come out of learning what it's like and how we get to a, a better place mentally, then it doesn't feel as significantly jarring or shocking when we get there so spirits like look at what you've already gone through look at what you've already experienced and how you've come out the other side this has built a lot of character for you and it's a it's allowed you to learn how to really stand up for yourself and protect yourself and be more aware of the things and the people and the experiences that you want to have and what's important to you and what's not so that's where the justice comes in because you choose it for yourself, especially when you become aware of how to come out the other side of these times when in the tower doesn't always mean something bad. It can even be when something is great. It can still be a little bit exhausting or um, difficult to deal with if, if it's a significant change. I think you've learned how to manage that process, how to manage it mentally or you're learning to. And that's what spirit wants you to focus on is how to really get control of that. So you're uh, challenge is the stress. So it may still feel like things are a bit stressful in the month of September. It doesn't mean you're not going to get beyond it. That's why they're asking you here 
to learn how to manage when things do seem to change very significantly and how you can get control of your mind. So it may be hard for you not to still be in a state of like losing sleep or feeling a little bit stressed out. It doesn't mean you're going to be the whole month. It just means that's a little bit of a challenge to get some sleep. But see, they had me look at the bottom of the deck and here is the Nine of Cups, which just states that if you're focused on fulfilling yourself, your needs, the things that really do bring joy into your life, especially when you're going out and hanging out with your friends or doing something that brings you that kind of joy, that helps to balance out that stress. Okay, so let's look at the Seven of Swords here as we clarify. So we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. It doesn't mean that you don't have clarity. I, some things you may not quite understand just yet and why those people had to be a part of your experience. But I think you'll get there. Let's see what comes next. The Three of Wands. You've been waiting for clarity around something for a long time. And I don't think he, what this is saying is that you're going to put yourself in a position where you're waiting for somebody else to give you clarity. This is you choosing your position in the situation. But your ships are definitely, I mean, yes, are your ships coming in? Sure, you've been waiting a long time for things to get a little bit better. The devil in reverse because you don't want to feel bound to any kind of toxic energy or anything that feels like it's constraining or suffocating to your energy. You've been waiting a long time for some kind of clarity. Maybe it's a download you feel like you're waiting for or spirit to show you. How do I get around these types of people? How do I stop this type of energy from showing up in my life? I don't want to do it anymore. I want to find happiness and balance and be happy with my family and those types of things. So there's a lot of questions there about how and when is this going to come to an end? Well, it is clearly in the near future. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the four of wands with the king of swords in reverse. We have the knight of wands. So where you weren't <coughs> sure if somebody was, hang on, just a little tickle in the throat. If you weren't sure if somebody was being honest about something, I do feel like there's initiation that is taken. I think you've been waiting a long time to get clarity um, from someone specifically in your life. Uh, there's someone that's still got some passion for you. So if you have a question about how they feel, I think they do. They just may not be honest about how they feel. They may not have the ability to articulate that they want something with you long term or they want certain things. Maybe they want you to move in with them. Whatever it is, I just don't know if they, they know how to really say it out loud. And if they have, maybe they haven't taken action towards doing so and you're wondering if they're going to. Like I said, for those of you that are questioning this, somebody's going to propose. And for others of you, this is just, I'm really passionate about finding uh, joy in my family and surroundings because I waited for a while for you know this to be a possibility again where I feel like I have the time and energy to, to focus in that area of my life. All right, so the King of Swords in reverse with the Three of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, for some of you, this could be dealing with a younger male in your life, a child. It could be someone who's, when I say emotionally immature, it could just be somebody younger that you've dealt with or you're dealing with someone who is younger than you. Um, doesn't feel like a bad energy though. I, I think you've just been waiting for something to shift in, in that relationship with that person, whether it's a child or someone that you've been dealing with. And it feels like um, you don't want to start over necessarily with someone. So you could be asking yourself, do I wait for this to shift a little bit? Do I wait to see if this person's going to come in and show me that they care or feel a certain way? You may want to, for those of you that are interested I do think this person's passionate about you, but it's really up to you what you decide to do. So the devil with the four of cups in reverse, there's that, that makes perfect sense too, because the death card is that transformation that we always talk about with this card. It could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn as well. Um, you, oof, wow. A part of you is like, this just doesn't feel right to me anymore. I've changed too much or I've moved beyond feeling obligation to certain things in my life. So some of you are really moving away from an obligation to other people, which is just an energy that you feel and that's what's changed. And it's within. It doesn't necessarily mean that it shows external. 
you may not do as much for other people or feel like you have as many obligations around a home. Maybe you freed yourself of those. Whatever it is, it's really going to transform you in the near future. Whatever you're releasing and realizing you don't want to be bound to. Okay, so, uh, energy of a person from the past could be too. Four of Cups in reverse with the world. The Two of Swords is coming in. But see, that's the thing is that you don't quite see how this is going to affect your life. A small shift in an energy can affect your life so dramatically. You will see it, but the Two of Wands just tells me that there's a choice to be made, right? You have free will, so you can go one way, you can allow these changes to unfold, or you could choose to kind of stay in that other energy. I don't think you will. Part of you may feel like there's still not a clear answer, but you always get the answer. That's why the Ace of Swords was in reverse, because there's a part of you that doesn't really have clarity about where this is all going and how these changes are going to affect you and your future. But I do think you're going to defend your position, especially around what you want and how you want things to look in your future. So the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Hangman. In reverse, this is telling me that you've come out of that place where maybe you felt stagnant for some time and you're just not waiting anymore. Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Hangman in reverse are saying the same thing to me. I'm not going to stay focused on the things that either aren't growing or I'm not going to wait around for things anymore. I just want to get out of this feeling of kind of dangling and get moving. And that's where I feel the justice is coming in. So the next one we have is the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, you could be a little bit concerned about finances. That too balances out. If for any reason, any of you have gone through a split separation and you're concerned about the money, there will be justice in that. Meaning if you hadn't been getting what you deserved, there was a payout that was owed to you. Something that was owed to you that you had been feeling hadn't been done or you hadn't received work, something's going on. This is you defending your position and saying, there's got to be justice in this. I'm not going to continue to take less than I'm worth. So I feel like you're standing your ground, whether it be at work or with somebody who owes you money. Something's happening in that energy. So spirit, that's what you don't see coming. So spirit, uh, what they want you to focus on. The Hermit in reverse and the Six of Swords. That nine of Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So remember I said that you're getting beyond how you dealt with things in the past when they would fall apart or even a, a good change would happen, you've recognized what it takes to help you stay mentally stable. The Knight of Pentacles, this is teaching you how to take things a little slower, maybe not being as active in the mind and worrying so much, the challenge, the worry. So I feel like you're, you're realizing that you can't just go full speed ahead 24-7. You have to kind of slow down. And that's what I think uh, Spirit wants you to focus on is how things can be slow and still be moving forward. So next we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, if others hadn't been playing well with you in the past and you've had a lot of that, like I said, toxic, whether it be um, people at work or some kind of experience that you'd been having where you felt like just people weren't getting on board with things, it wasn't working out. I, I think you've learned how to, again, not let that affect you the way that it may have in the past, not let it uh, stress you out or lose sleep over it. Even though it could be challenging to not stress, I do think you're learning how not to worry so much about that and focus on you and what's going on with you. Even when you work with other people and have to be in their presence all the time, being open energetically can be challenging, absolutely. But I think you realize that in the past, you've experienced a lot of situations that have either blown up or something hasn't worked and how you deal with it differently now versus how you may have dealt with it then um, has been significant or it's changing as we're speaking. All right, so here with the challenge and the nine of swords, we have there's that seven of pentacles in reverse again. So it could be hard for you not to wait for something to come about or at least lose hope in something that you thought was going to work out. It's hard. That may stress you out still a little bit throughout the month. Doesn't mean you're going to be a stress ball the entire month. It just means at times it's hard for you to wait for things to continue to grow. We, we always feel like we have a finish line and we set goals. That's fantastic. If you set goals, great. If you don't get to them by the point that you want to get to them, just understand all the other energies. If you're listening to Terry, you get this. 
all the astrological energies, everything plays a part in how things happen. Every decision we make, every energy that we experience. So I think you're going to get better. You're not going to let this stress you as much, but it's a little bit of a challenge. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this. If you'd like to stick around for the love part, that would be wonderful. If not, please hit that like button on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next one. For those of you that want to stick around for this, give me one second as I throw all my cards around. And clear this. Okay. So, think about your person. Let's see what's going on here. Sorry, I'm anal about adjusting things. <laughs> for Pisces and their person. All right, so let's see what your person's energy is. We have the Queen of Cups. This has come out a lot. Excuse me, you could have somebody who is, I tend to pick up when it comes out in this position where it does often. It's somebody that can be very nurturing, but at the same time, it's almost like they're focused on themselves, uh, which could create an imbalance if they don't seem to be focused on you because the back is to you the way that I'm setting the cards up. The Two of Pentacles, interesting in reverse. Let's get one more, we have Chariot. If there's been a problem in the past where you felt like this person didn't know what they want, didn't know what they wanted, they do, they do. They've just had to do some inward work. It's almost as if they needed to figure out what was going to balance them out and that's the problem is that they weren't balanced within emotionally or otherwise I don't think there's any question that they want you though they're not juggling I think they do and the chariot tells me that they want to move forward with things so if you have any questions about a person and, and how they feel about you I think they want to move forward they definitely do it's going to be up to you of course nine of pentacles in reverse you just weren't sure there's a lot of uncertainty and I think you questioned this a lot page of cups um, part of you may be willing to open up a little bit, but there's a lot of instability here on your part, meaning you could just, just be like, I don't trust very easily and I'm going to be very cautious depending on where you are in the relationship, whether you're with them, not with them, it's new. Um, just take what resonates for you. This doesn't feel like you're, I'd say you're really protective of your of yourself right now so yes you may offer up a little bit if this person comes towards you but you're going to be really cautious you've been through this with the seven of swords you know what it looks like and i think you've you've taken a lot of that a lot of those lessons a lot of that energy with you um, with the emperor because you've been taken down before probably to your knees in some kind of relationship that affected you so you're going to be moving fairly slow or find yourself just not being as open until somebody else is open with you. If you've been in a relationship for a long time, this could be a rebuilding. Um, your person definitely chooses you and I think you're willing to be there with them, but you're going to have to get through whatever those other feelings may have been, especially if there was any disappointments there. All right, so let's get the romance angels and see what we have here. All right, so deception. See, that's the thing that I feel that you're concerned about. Someone is wearing a false mask in the relationship. Do I sense that this person is? When I when I feel deception, it can be two different things. It can be either they're not being honest with how they feel about you, which can be one thing, or there is deception. I don't think it's the type of deception that we automatically think of, like, oh, they're doing something wrong. I just think this person internalizes a lot or doesn't, take a lot of action in the way that they should in the past because they've been focused on themselves. But I do think that they want to do more, if you will. They haven't been really honest about how they feel. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. If you feel passionate about the relationship, I'd say put the effort in that you feel comfortable putting in. It's time to disconnect from the world. It may be time to see what you're like or how things are evolving, depending again where you are in this situation. 
time to take a step back and be together. If you're very social people and you need some time just alone to see where things are and kind of do a check-in, I think it's going to be important. And then worth waiting for, divine timing is at love in your at work and your love life. For those of you that are single, I'm going to say this, and you had somebody who was so self-focused and they created a lot of instability. You were cautious, but you weren't sure. It is worth letting something go that wasn't working out and waiting for the right person. It always is. I know it hurts at the time when you really are invested or you really like somebody or were wishful, but this is one of those you've been through enough and you know to take things slowly and be cautious. So it's absolutely worth waiting for. And it could be that the person that you're dealing with is worth waiting for as well if you feel connected to them. If they just feel, they seem a little disconnected emotionally or seem like they're focused on themselves. I do think they're going to make a lot more effort, especially this month. Let's see. We've got the Three of Swords. Somebody's had their heart broken for sure. Uh, if this was someone from your past and they broke your heart, it doesn't always have to be a third party situation. It could just be that there's been a lot of heartbreak. For some of you, it's been quite a bit and you're just so much more cautious. So the Eight of Pentacles, I don't think you have to put the work in and I think you understand that because of your past efforts, how much energy you've put into things, you wanna be cautious. Do I think you're gonna get your heart broken? Not all of you. Some of you, this could be just having to release somebody from the past that was definitely hurting you or did hurt you. And it was tough. And a part of you feels like you're starting over. Let's see. We got the Three of Swords in reverse, not waiting any longer. And then the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles can be, yes, about a new start. But I, I do think this is kind of like, this is where I am just in general in my energy and I like things to be fresh. Page of Cups and Page of Pentacles, I feel like is your energy. So you're ready to start something, but you're just cautious. I feel a lot of very cautious energy. Okay, let's get the Lover's Oracle for you and see what messages they have. I'm trying to decide if that felt right. This one does. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen love, conquers, and transforms all things. I think that's great, especially if you find that this person's coming out of a place of self-reflection and they're coming towards you and you might be able to work things through, but you've learned. So I would always say be cautious. Only time will tell. And let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Great message for you, for those of you that maybe is a, are a little concerned about the space. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So a lot of this is about giving each other space, clearly. And I don't care if you've been together for 30 years. It's just an indication that, you know, somebody's going through one thing, someone else is going through another. Some of you, you were hurt by this person and you chose to forgive them. And you just need time to heal from that. There's so many different scenarios that have popped up. I hope you guys can keep this clear and take what does resonate. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle for you. I can't tell with the clock. Oh, it's 28. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. All right, so time for a nap. Some of you, absolutely. This could just be a time, especially through this full moon, where you feel like, I am just exhausted. I need to take a break. So take a break. You could be 24, born on the 2nd, the 4th, the 6th, or the 24th of the month. Exchanging gifts. There is, hold on, I'm getting spirit type gifts. There's something about the gifts that you give to other people. And I don't mean this in a physical sense or a material sense. It's like you're finally starting to feel like the energy is reciprocated. This could also be that you have a cat or an animal of any sort that you feel like you constantly, it's like a an even give and take. And it's such a gift to have them because they're always there for you. You could be 27, born on the 2nd, the 7th, or the 9th of the month. Now, flexible. Okay, do your best to be flexible this month. But it could be your flexibility, period. It could Some of you could be starting yoga or doing some things where you feel like you're working your body. You could be born on the 19th, the 1st, the 9th, or the 10th of the month. 
but do try. I mean, as hard as it can be to be flexible, I think you're you're probably going to be a, a little bit more go with the flow this month. And then here and now. So a lot of your energy is going to be focused on what's happening now. Not tomorrow, not two months from now, just what's here and now. And how can I find peace in this moment? So you could be 32, born on the 3rd, the 2nd, or the 5th of the month. Good energy. Love it. Here and now is going to be significant. I think you're going to be feeling a lot better once this emotional moon passes. I send you guys so, so much love. Thank you for being here. Please hit that like button on your way out. And if you would like a personal, again, the info is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Have an amazing, amazing month, and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.